Hey there, uh, we're the Kopecky Family Band in Boston tonight. Uh, I'm Gabe. I'm Marcus. It's good to see you last been pretty good to us so far. The, the late, the, the early 2000s, the late 90s have been nice. Really cool. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of money and records being sold. Yeah. Big band music's pretty cool. Yeah, I think uh, I've been watching a lot of the Boardwalk Empire, so I'd love to be like in the 1920s and 30s. Let's say the Baroque period. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, no, I don't Really French inspirational period. <laughs> The caveman time. <laughs> African drops. Link one eight two. Oh yeah. You yeah. <laughs> seem musical. Uh, pretty good. Uh, guilty pleasure in life or musical? In music? life or life? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Video games. Oh, okay. video games. Oh, yes. A lot of us are really big video game nerds. Like, we play Skyrim all the time. Like, I'm a huge gamer. Uh, I don't know what it calls that, actually, Guilty Pleasure, because I'm not feel bad about it at all. I'm very thankful for it. I love watching chick flicks with my wife and Downton Abbey. Oh, Harry Potter. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. There's a period of time where Steven actually listened through all the books. Yeah, no, seriously. So, like, maybe three months ago, I started listening to all the audiobooks. And I'd never read the books before. So, I got through all the audiobooks. And I started watching the movies with my girlfriend. And now I'm reading through all the books. <laughs> this is all, like, within half a year. So, wow. I'm really enjoying myself. <laughs> you really dive deep. Yeah. Mine was a, uh, a Christian group called Sierra, and I was like, <laughs> and my mom gave it to me. It was great. Three Mine girls. was a, the Jungle Book soundtrack, and I used to like play it on my tape player at home, and like sing into the mirror and like, pretend like I was one of the monkeys. <laughs> it's really fun playing that trumpet. Um, that's a really hard question because I remember like moments where I significantly I feel like I went out and bought my first record. Now when my parents bought my first CD from me, it probably was the Buddy Songs collection that McDonald's was doing in coalition with all the Disney movies when they came out. It is a series of like six CDs, like hero songs, buddy songs, and like and it was just like basically Randy Randy Newman. <laughs> But it was, uh, yeah, that would probably be it. Either that or uh, I had a Weird Al Yankovic tape that my brother gave to me. That or a mixture of old school, Old Testament Bible tapes. <laughs> New cello. <laughs> I would probably just buy like really nice versions of everything that I own now. <laughs> just upgrade everything. Maybe get backups or something. And steel drums and some bagpipes. <laughs> How we're at it, bagpipes. Uh, brass instruments. I'd love to have a tuba. I'd love to have a baritone. A flugelhorn. Flugelhorn. All the French horn. I mean, if we just if we just shoot off the hip here. Uh, Maybe pipe organ. pipe organ. I could do with the pipe organ. I think there's a lot of things I love that all of us would love. Yeah. We could basically would take anything. <laughs> <laughs> so all, one of everything. <laughs> I really want to this one when I was younger. Yeah, we did this. I know exactly. I know exactly. Yeah. Right. It's either I think it's flight. Yeah. I think flight would be my answer. Or the power to talk to fish. <laughs> Aquamarine abilities. Uh, mine was always I wanted to be ice man. I always wanted to like travel on like paths of ice. I thought he was the coolest dude. I want my I want an ice bullet boots through you. We'll see who's laughing then. Book songs. Uh, 
probably one of the animals that I hate. Because I, I would want to be the thing that I was most terrified of, because then everything would be terrified of me. Be a shark, a big old shark. And I'd be Pooh Bear, apparently. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> Pooh Bear. Oh, yeah, man, that's good. <laughs> Song. What's that? What's the Fred's theme song too? God, if you read that, probably butterfly kisses. Or um, back at one, Brian McMahon. Any? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so serious because he's really good song. Anything off the Rumors record? Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty great. Eastern Sea, that's what my tour was, mm -hmm. so. Elisha Wood. Elisha Wood. <laughs> He's really fun to follow. He's great. Uh, what's the old band's name that, that goes to parties that I've always wanted to party with? Go Murray. Go Murray. Go Murray. <laughs> yeah. Walter Matha. <laughs> Walter Matha? That would be, that would be like generational. Boy Tinsley. Maybe Russell. BT, boy. Uh, no, I like. I like. We're way over three. We're I like a lot. No, 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 no. We're gonna, we're gonna, wait, we're allowed to collaborate and then come up with three. So do we like Elijah or not? I don't know. He'd be kind of funny. Like it's like. Can, I like Bill more than Elijah. Yeah. Okay. We'll definitely say Bill Murray. Uh, Bill Murray. Maybe. Is he kind of funny? Is he? Sorry, be really funny. Yeah. Barack Obama. Barack Obama. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> Bill Murray. Obama. <laughs> yeah, that group. Hey. Well, tonight we're co-building with a wonderful band called the Eastern Sea, who I would say has been our, one of my favorite co-builds. Yeah, I agree. But... Uh, uh, oh, well, that's tough. You don't want to like go go with like maybe your favorite band like Radiohead because it's like no one cares that you're playing. Are we, are we are we are we as big as Radiohead? <laughs> <laughs> we are. Theory. Okay. All right. Well, theoretically speaking. TLC. TLC. <laughs> Radiohead. Uh, and, and, and Bob Carlyle. Flaming Lips would be a really fun. Wow, that must be a great yeah, show. Yeah, that'd be fun. I really want to see that Flaming Lips Black Keys tour. Yeah, too. Um. Yeah, I think we're gonna walk in on that. Funny looks, is that cool? Yeah. I can agree with that. Yeah, yeah that's cool. I already know this one, Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what we said for each of us. Uh, well, Corey was yeah, Wanda Sykes. Was I Mark Hamill? Yeah. You were Mark Hamill. No. <laughs> Mark Hamill. Star Wars. Star Wars and Mr. Skywalker. <laughs> Wanda Sykes would play Corey, our bass player. Uh, I was played by no, no one other than. Uh, uh, Mark Ruffalo, of course. Uh, Kelsey was. Uh, who was she? I don't remember. She was like Dolly Parton or something. Dolly Parton doesn't make any sense, but okay. I thought I thought she was Grace Slick. Oh, that's what. Grace it was. Slick. We heard her, but she's dead, so we can't really have her. No, that's fine. We can go with it. Who was you? I don't think I had anybody. Zach Galifianakis. Is it Zach? <laughs> I guess that's ridiculous. That's <laughs> so funny. Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Singing Les Mis. Oh, no, it was, it was the dude from Lewis. Oh, yeah. Gail Garcia. Whatever. Something Garcia. Yeah. Oh, the dude. Yeah, hey, okay. He's good. Actually, yeah, what makes it? He's got the lips. The eyes, too. The lips and the eyes. There we go. <laughs> David would be Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> or like David Bowie or something. Or David Bowie. Or uh, what's the, the guy? The guy that's got a comedy show that's him. Uh, the tall one. Conan. Oh, 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 no, Conan Bryan. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.